Hi, this is Anil from Learn in Red Education and welcome back to watch the output video series on C programming language. Now, just like the previous tutorials, you guys can uh, pause this movie and then uh, try to find out whether there are any errors in the program. And if you guys think there are no errors, then uh, try to guess the output of the program. Once you guys have an answer, just click on the play button. I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. All right, now I guess you guys have an answer for this program. I'm gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run. And the answer or you know the output of this program is uh, first a blank line and then we get e l l o and then l l o then l o and then o so now how the heck we're gonna get the output like this so here uh, in this program if we look at the source code uh, we have a couple of integer variables i and n and then we have this character rx and in this character rx we have stored the string h e l l o so now the thing is when you initialize the strings like this at that time the string termination character will be added by the c compiler automatically so here if i have to draw an image of it you know how this character array is gonna look like then uh, so now let's assume that this is the character rx now here in this character rx we have the characters h e l l o and then this string termination character will be added automatically by the c compiler to indicate that's the end of the string and uh, when uh, we initialize these strings like this like the way that we have done here you know the string termination character will be added automatically we don't need to specify that explicitly all right now if we come back to this image then out of you know that this x is a character array and uh, with the arrays the indexing is gonna start from zero so the first character h will be at the index zero second character e will be at the index one and l will be at the index two then another l will be at the index three then o will be at the index four and this string termination character or you know this null character will be at the index five now uh, in, our, in our program then what we are doing is we are using this string length function to get the number of characters present in this string hello which is stored in this character array x this string length function is going to return the number of characters as i said before and it's not going to count the null character or you know the string termination character which is at the end so it's going to return five here because this uh, hello string contains five characters so the string length function is going to return five and that five will be stored in this uh, variable n now with this statement what we are doing is we are altering the contents of this x array we are storing the same value which is in the fifth index of this character array x in the zeroth index here n will uh, contain 5 and that's why you know we are storing the value which is in the fifth index of this array x in the zeroth index so here after this statement our x array is gonna look something like this so uh, here in the uh, zeroth index instead of this h there will be this string termination character null here now this uh, zeroth index as well as this fifth index are containing the same value which is the string termination character now here if we come to this for loop we are trying to loop through all the elements of the array and we are printing the string from certain positions here uh, inside this printf function if you guys can see we have the percentage yes format specifier which is used for the strings and then we are performing the pointer arithmetic here for the first iteration this i variable is going to contain zero and then uh, this n is containing five so zero is less than five this condition satisfies and that's why we can execute this printf statement here in this printf statement uh, we are trying to print the string and here this i is containing zero as i said before so x plus zero it will point to the beginning of the character array x and that's why this printf statement will try to print the string from the beginning of the character array x or you know the from the zeroth index so it will try to print out the characters until it encounters a string terminating character and here what happens is in this character array x the first element is the string termination character 
So what printf thinks is, okay, there are nothing to print and that's why it will not print anything because the first element of this character array is containing the null character. And then we have this new line here. And because of that, our output is going to be a blank line. I think I have closed my previous run. So let me uh, build it again. So here you guys can see our first line is a blank line. So here our percentage s will not print anything and because of this new line here we're going to move to the next line. So our first line is going to be a blank line. Now for the second index what happens is this i variable is going to contain a value of 1. So 1 is less than 5 uh, that condition satisfies and that's why here what happens is x plus 1. Here the pointer arithmetic. So now this x plus 1 will point to this second element which is at the index 1. So here what happens is our printf function tries to print the string from the second element of the character array x or you know from the index 1 and it will try to print out the string until it encounters a null character. So here it will uh, start from this e or you know from this second element so it's gonna print out e l l wo and then we have the string termination character and it will stop that so we're gonna get e l l wo in the second line and then we have this a new line here so a new line will be added now for the third iteration i is gonna contain two so Again, uh, this condition satisfies 2 is uh, less than 5 and here again point arithmetic. So x plus 2 will point to the third element of the character array. So this time our printf function try to print the string from this position. So it's going to print out l l wo and then the string termination character is there. So it's going to stop and that's why now we're gonna get this llvo here and then we have the new line here and that's why a new line will be added now for the fourth iteration this i variable is gonna contain a value of 3 at that time again this condition satisfies and it's gonna be x plus 3 so what happens is uh, now this x plus 3 is gonna point to this um, position so our printf function will try to print the string from the fourth element of this character array which will be at the index 3 so it's gonna print out l wo and then the string termination character is there so it's gonna stop and that's why you know we're gonna get l wo here and after that we have the new line that's why another new line will be added and now for the uh, fifth iteration our i variable is gonna contain a value of 4 so this time uh, x plus 4 is going to point to the fifth element of this character or x so it's going to point to here so our printf function is going to try to print the string until it encounters a null character from this position so it's going to print out wo and then the null character is there so it's going to stop there so here it's going to print out wo and then we have the new line so again a new line will be added here and then for the sixth iteration this i variable is going to contain a value of 5 now this condition is going to fail because 5 is not less than 5 5 is equal to 5 so this condition is going to fail and our control is going to come out of this for loop and our program executes the uh, other statements and uh, finishes its execution and that's why you know we're going to get the output like this so this is it guys for this tutorial. Hope you guys have learned something from this tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.